I saw my radiologist today, so I thought I should do an update video just about how the radiation is going. Um, I have the first week behind me, I'm in the second week, and it'll end this coming Friday. And this, the last time I did radiation, I didn't feel anything at all. Um, I couldn't tell I was doing radiation. Um, this time it feels a lot different. It hurts a lot more and where last time it didn't hurt at all, but this time it's really tender and uncomfortable and it swell, the area swells up a couple of hours after I have radiation and um, today something really weird happened we've been trying to go on um, take different grandkids on a little day date with us when I go do radiation because I'm only in the doctor's office for like 20 minutes so we're just like we're riding out of town and there are more amenities and things to do with kids. Um, cause you know, my doctor's in San Antonio, so it's a bigger city. So we were out with two of the grandkids and I almost fainted, which the whole time I've been sick, that's only happened a small handful of times um but it really scared me and I honestly started praying that like if I was dying I would not drop dead in front of my grandkids in public um it was just really weird I felt I felt it I knew it was coming and I asked Callie if I looked okay or like had I lost all my color and then he had to, we had to leave my pushing um, stroller, my, my walker, and he had to hold me up and walk me to a chair to go sit down until it passed. And then it passed and it was gone and everything was fine. Um, but it was just very strange and out of the blue. So... The doctor explained that this is going to be a more painful, more painful experience. And as far as just taking a, a toll, I think just overall, my, my body is just weak and tired. I still have the really low red blood cells and, or, or iron rather, and, um, I'm overall weaker and I get hurt a lot easier the first day of radiation when we took a one of our grandchildren on a date with us I wanted to sit in the back seat with the grandchild so I could give them like my full attention talk to them the whole time and just you know get to enjoy being together and I rode in the back seat and it caused me so much pain. Um, I had a hard time even moving around the next day. So this radiation, it's, it's um, definitely getting to me. It's a lot harder this time, but thankfully it'll be over soon. It'll be just four more sessions. So hopefully They'll just go pretty quick and we'll be able to put it behind us. We've been getting up at um, 3.30 in the morning to try to get to treatment at 8. We could leave a little bit later, but if we leave later, we hit traffic and, and then we'll be late. So we've been having to leave really early to get there. And the days that we've taken the children out... Um, they've been like 13 and 14 hour days. So 
it's just been, it's just been taking a toll. And so this week we're kind of alternating, like tomorrow we're not going to take anybody with us. So we can just go up and come straight back and like try to get a little more rest. Um, we've been having to go to bed really early and get up really early and then just spend the whole day up and walking around. And it's just been, it's just been a lot my my energy like tapered off last week the first day I made it awake the whole day the second day I fell asleep for a little bit in the car by the time the fourth day hit I slept all the way there all the way back I couldn't even be awake to talk to um the grandchild that we took with us that day so um it's been challenging and uh that's about it I just wanted to give an update of how it's going and then um, I'll give another update probably when it's over and then next week resumes my normal doctor schedule. I think I have a, I think I have a EKG again next week and, and then see a doctor if, if I'm thinking correctly, which I may not be. So yeah, scans. Scans. I have scans next week. So. Um, yeah, that'll be good. We'll get an update on the entire progress. While I'm doing the radiation, I'm off of my trial drug. So, um, hopefully my scans come back good. We, we did meet somebody in the parking lot today that's been in, um, stage four cancer, a different kind of cancer, but stage four for how many years, babe? eight years so that was pretty that was pretty exciting and encouraging so um those are always hopeful it's hopeful to hear about those so that's it thank you talk to everybody later thank you for praying for me love you bye-bye